What is going on you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming for another Clash Royale episode. Yes, it is an unlocking of Sparky and apparently immediately leveling him up to level 2. Now this was done by Peter17 dollars and I've got the footage under an agreement. And that agreement is you guys won't have to listen to his voice in the middle of this episode should you want to see Peter's own creative take on what happened here today. You're more than welcome to go check out his channel. It is in the description. You can see exactly what is going on here as he's shaking the screen. This part, I still don't understand what the idea was behind that. But in any case, he wanted to buy Sparky. It was in the shop. He had over 3,000 trophies, so it was available. And he's purchased 300,000 gold with over 12,000 gems in order to be able to purchase the Sparkies in the shop. So apparently he was going to go ahead and buy all three of them. And I, I still don't know what this is about. All right, so there's the Sparkies. And again, you can buy three legendaries in the shop. 240,000 gold later, almost a quarter million gold. And Peter has not only a Sparky, but level two Sparky and you'll notice Peter has only unlocked one other legendary card, that being the Princess. He still doesn't even have the Ice Wizard. And I have to say, Sparky, probably one of the hardest cards to learn how to play. So to see him put it into action for the very first time should be very interesting. And it looks like he's using a Hog Cycle... Oh, okay, so he used it to replace a Royal Giant in his Hog Cycle deck. So this is a pretty unique deck combination, I have to say. And, uh, oh boy, Peter's in trouble. All right, so Peter is a level 10, is facing a level 11 player with a brand new deck he's never used. So Hog Cycle, pretty standard Hog Cycle, except for he's got a Sparky in there. So some of these smaller cards, the minions, might work out to help protect that Sparky. But we will see. Oh, he's facing a Royal Giant right away. A level 12 Royal Giant, and Peter counters with the minions but not before his tower is in big trouble between the Prince and the Royal Giant. Peter already down one crown to zero. Doesn't look good for Peter. Maybe Sparky is not going to be able to save poor Peter here as he's suffered a massive amount of damage and is way, way behind only 45 seconds into this battle. So Peter has a big hole to dig himself out of right here. He gets the other princess down. Looks like nicely the minions are going to fall without any damage being done to the towers really at that point the princess countered all right he's got an elixir collector looks like he's trying to save the sparky for late in the match maybe for double elixir uh, which probably would be wise he's going to drop the cannon to stop the prince some goblins in there as well prince takes the cannon down quickly and uh, i'm just not sure about the composition of a sparky along with a hog cycle deck all right so we're down to a minute 40 remaining and uh, the opponent doesn't have Elixir going, so that might help Peter a little bit. Uh, oh, here comes Sparky. All right, so Peter's not going to wait for double Elixir. He's dropped Sparky in along with the minion Horde, hoping the minions... Oh, he's got a Zap spell ready. I love it. He's got the Zap spell ready. And, uh, well, the Sparky hit the Royal Giant and then moved on to the tower. Oh, nice big shot on the tower. That Sparky got that tower way down and also took out the Dark Prince. The Royal Giant, though, getting dangerously close to that King's Tower. Peter's in trouble. He is in risk of getting three crowned right here. He stops the Giant, stops the Princess, but he's below 2,000 hit points on his King's Tower. So Sparky did a good job. It did get one round off, and that's really all you need for that cost in Elixir. If you can get Sparky to do one shot on a tower, I would say that's probably a pretty fair trade. So it looks like Peter dealing with the Pekka right here is eventually going to get it out of the way. Zap on the minions. Minion Horde survives. Princess moving down the right. The arrows miss everybody. They split the field goal arrows. Misses the minions and it misses the princess as well. The princess on the right hand side finishes off the tower. Peter drops another Sparky down the left hand side. And will it get a shot off? Oh, it's got a Pekka to deal with. Turns around and now it's frozen. Frozen in time, it looks like that Sparky is not going to get the shot off this time. But it did help get that P.E.K.K.A. out of the way. So again, probably another positive elixir trade for Peter. That worked out pretty well. And the Hog Rider got through to the tower. Some good damage. That Princess is just working away on the opponent's King. Finally going to be countered by another Princess. And here comes another Sparky going after the tower. Being protected this time by Goblins. Goblins in front of the Sparky. It's fully charged. It's ready to fire. There it goes, and that is a big shot. Oh my gosh, it took the tower down. 
Peter wins the match 2 to 1 over a level 11 player using Sparky and gets a giant chest as a reward. Wow, I am surprised. So Sparky, not easily played, but apparently if you can get him on that tower, he can just annihilate other players' towers. So good job, Peter. Congratulations. Maybe it was 240,000 gold well spent. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Please don't forget to check out Peter's version of what just happened here. Subscribe for Daily Clash content, and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Not bad, Gallydon. Not exactly as it happened, but close enough. Now watch my episode for the truth.